Welcome to Story Time. I have a great story for you today. Sit back, put your feet up, and relax. This is a great story. Okay, I used to have a van. And it was just a, kind of an old beat up one, but it only cost me $100. And I drove it for a year. And after that year <laughs> of putting transmission fluid in every week and brake fluid in every week, and gas, of course, it ended up breaking down on me. And, but I, you know, it was only $100 and it lasted a year. So I was quite happy about that. And I found myself saying, okay, now I need another van. And in my heart, I wanted a 15 passenger van. I don't know why, you know, I just thought, well, if it's bigger, you know, and with me running Hannah House, it was, you know, we always needed something bigger to put stuff in or to take people places. And so in my heart, I wanted a 15 passenger, but I had no money. So, so anyway, what happened was I prayed and I said, Lord, you know, I'd like a 15 passenger, but you know, I would take anything, but I just don't know exactly how to go about it because I don't have any money. So I just leave it with you. Well, it was a couple of days later, and I phoned my friend, and I said to her, I said, can I ride with you, you know, and, and go get some groceries and things like that? And she says, and you'll never guess what happened. And she said, my van was stolen. And I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness, now both of us had no wheels, right? So I said, well, okay, you know, and well, here she called me back. And she said, you know, she says, my fam one of my family members is going to give me a vehicle. And she says, but this other person is going to give me a vehicle, too. She says, would you like it? And I says, well, yeah, you know, if, if they would give it to me. And she says, oh, of course they would, you know. So I went to see this person, and, and he said, well, Anne, it's only going to last you like five months at the most. It's a 15-passenger van. I said, what? He said, it's a 15-passenger van. And he says, but it's not really in good shape. I said, that's okay. I'll take it. I took it to get it inspected, and it was $22 for the inspection, and now I had $22, okay? So I said, well, go ahead and inspect it, and so they did, and they called me the next day, and they said, Ann, they said, uh, the bill is over $300, and I said, oh my goodness, I said, well, you know, I said, I'll come and I'll pay the inspection, and I said, maybe you could just leave it on your lot, and I can pay you so much a month until it's all paid for. And they said, okay, so I go to get it. Now listen to this, I'm praying all the time, okay? But I go to get it, they take my $22, and they hand me this receipt back. And I look at it, and the bill is paid in full. And it's like, what? I said, how come? And the guy said to me, he said, just accept it. And I said, well, thank you. I drove away with my van, my 15 passenger van and I thought Lord you're so good because that's exactly what I wanted you know and you know I drove that van for five years okay I mean I don't know how many thousands of miles I put on it but I mean it carted people around it moved furniture it everything everything it was just so perfect well, it was about three years into me having the van, and I bumped into the man that gave it to me, and he said, you know, Anne, I'm so sorry that that van was in such bad shape. And I said, what? <laughs> and he says, well, you know, he says, I wished it had been in better shape. And I says, we were standing in Walmart parking lot. So I says, look over there. And he looked, and he said, the van? I said, yes. I says, I'm still driving it. He says, I can't believe that. I says, well, believe it because it's true. I says, and I haven't had to put any money into it. It just runs great. Well, I still drove it for two more years after that. So the total driving was five, five years. And, you know, it made me stop and think how good God is because I didn't have any money, all right? And, and you know, I needed something to run Hannah House. Like, I needed a vehicle and uh, I was looking after three children too and you know it's hard if you ha have children and you don't have a way to get them anywhere and so God supplied my needs and you know the Bible says that he will supply our needs according to his riches and glory and it's up to us to believe that 
and, and to live for Him and to say, okay, Lord, you know, I just need it. And, and I have found, and this is what story time is all about, I have found all these things have happened to me in my life. And, you know, and I'm not a saint, okay? It's not because I'm this special person. I'm not. I'm just an ordinary person that loves God. And, and God is right there to bless and to help. So no matter what you're going through today, it can be anything. It can be anything. Maybe you need a van. Maybe you need a car. Maybe you need your health. You know, who knows what it is you need. But go to the Lord in prayer. You know, sometimes we call friends and say, oh, I need this. Can you help me with this? And they're like, well, I can't really help you right now. You know, but God is there for you every day, every moment of every day. He is there to hear your prayer and to answer it. it might not come right away. My van came within a few days. I mean, sometimes prayers don't get answered right away. But it, it doesn't mean that God's not loving you and, and looking after you. So today, just trust Him and, and, and remember about that van because I'll never forget that. I mean, I'll never forget it. Even the one for a hundred dollars. Oh, and guess what happened to the old one for a hundred dollars? I had parked it because it, the, the wheels, like the tires had blown and I didn't have you know money to buy new tires and all this and that. A man came to me and he said, what are you going to do with your old van? And I says, do you need it? And he says, well, yeah, I want it, you know, for parts and stuff. I says, just take it. <laughs> and he said, no. And I said, well, you can have it. Like, just get rid of it. Just, he said, no. He says, I want to give you some money for it. And I said, I don't want money. Because here was me with a 15-passenger van, okay? I said, no, it's okay. He says, and I want to buy it from you. He goes in his wallet, he pulls out a hundred dollar bill, and he hands me a hundred dollars. He said, I'm giving you a hundred dollars for your old man. <laughs> and I said, what? He says, don't even say no. He says, because that's how it is. And I said, thank you. And you know, I went in the house and I prayed and I said, God, you're so amazing. I had only paid the year before a hundred dollars for it. Plus, I had driven it for a year, and, you know, for sure I had to put brake fluid and transmission fluid in and stuff like that, but I needed it run really good until the tires went, and here was me getting $100 for it, and the man wouldn't take a no for an answer. So, God can do anything. It's up to us just to trust Him and just to, to let Him lead us. You know, the Bible says that, that He'll lead us and guide us. And, and get into the Word of God. Start reading it. Start to see what it's all about. Because walking with Jesus is exciting. It's an exciting life. It's not this humdrum life where, oh, what's going to happen, blah, 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 you know. It's not about that. It's exciting. And every time I see a big 15-passenger van go by or something, I think about it. I think, God, you are amazing. You're amazing. God bless you. Have a great day. Mommy.